Today's uh, Tuesday, April the 5th, so I, I had been wanting to bring this up, but a lot of other stuff was going on, but on a, a Sunday, it was Sunday, I had a, uh, it was a lot of, um, there was a particular dream, and literally it came to pass the same day, now that same night, I also had a lot of attacks, and um you just get really tired of the endless attacks. The devil is coming at us relentlessly. Like very little peace even, you know, at night. Because it, it's endless attacks. But now one of the dreams the seemed to be more likely from the Lord. And the fact is it came to pass the same day. And so I want to, it was pretty short. So, you know, I've mentioned before, the, the guy, there's a guy I used to be best friends with years ago. He's half Armenian, half Russian, and the Lord has used him in dreams to represent Russia in the past. And so in this dream, I was walking next to him. I was outside and I was walking next to him and there were other people with us too. I can't remember specifically who, but I know I was with this, that, that one guy the half Armenian, half Russian, and we were walking outdoors. And as we were walking, I was looking on the ground. There were tons and tons of fired, uh, uh, you know, uh, fired ammunition that had already been shot. Tons of it all over the ground, a bunch of uh, sh cases of, um, you know, shell casings. And it was it all been shot, which I believe represents war, the war coming to America, America being invaded. This ammo had been fired and it was all over the ground. And so we're walking and then all of a sudden we come up to, it was my dad and um, a, uh, a friend, a, you know, a, a, a different friend, someone who, who I'm friends with. And so it was my dad and this other friend we approach and there are two um two old old school uh, like classic cars you know muscle type classic cars that uh, looked extremely nice you know they had been restored something you would see in a car show and I knew my dad and my a friend had been working on these cars I saw uh, tools and and um, and I knew I was like I couldn't. You weren't allowed to uh, uh, touch the car. You could only look at it, and that's pretty. That's like where the dream ended. And so I I had been wondering. I'm like, well, this is strange. And I'm like, well, that's like something like at a uh, you know looks like something at a car show. And the thing is, with this particular friend in the past, you know, we would occasionally go hit up like a, a car show with a classic cars or even modern cars because he's he's really a car type of guy he loves cars and these were old like muscle cars cl uh, classic cars a couple of them and w you could only uh, look at them you couldn't uh, touch them and I'm like well this obviously this sounds like something like a you know a car show and literally that same day late later on towards the uh, evening he called me he called me up and he literally started uh, talking about that there was a, a car show, one of the ones me and him we had gone to in the past, he had gone to a car show, the same car show we had been to uh, years ago, a very small one, and um, he started talking about that, I'm like, that's, that's crazy, because that was literally just in a dream from that same night, so it came to pass hours later, and so a lot of times cars represent your ministry, your calling, the fact that, uh, I believe my dad represents Father God. A lot of times, if your dad's in your dream, it represents the Father. The the this particular friend, his uh, name is associated with um um in pa in the past, the Lord has used him in dreams to specifically represent himself, a uh, Jesus in particular. And so I believe my dad with the you know my friend, that's the Father with the Son, Father and Son father with Jesus Christ. And so I walk up with next to me is that old friend, half Armenian, half Russian represents, I believe the onset of war, the ammunitions all over the ground. It's been fired. That's war coming to America. And then the new car probably represents the, uh, 
well, I didn't know whose car this was, but I, um, who owned it, whose it was, I had no clue, but I knew you couldn't touch it, you could look at it, and, um, so I believe that could represent a change of ministry, as in, a lot of stuff is going to transpire at the, when we are taken out of here, there are people that will have work to do here in their glorified bodies, so I'm not going to get into all these debates and that that topic's a whole different topic and it draws in mockers and scoffers. But so I believe the classic cars, uh, there were two of them, but I was focused on one of them that could represent the change of ministry, change of calling. A lot of stuff will happen after the rapture. There will be, will be you know, some of us will have work to do here in our glorified bodies. So I'm not going to get into debates about that. The mockers and scoffers have a field day with debates on that and stuff like that. And so the, so I believe literally the war is coming to American soil soon and the, uh, the uh, rapture. And then we get our uh, new call-ins, all sorts of different stuff. It's going to be completely, it's going to be great to be out of this place. And I'm glad it's, you know, it's very soon. And so another thing, same exact day, Sunday, same day, I was at a Home Depot and a, a one of the workers, a lady, she just randomly comes up and starts asking. There was music on the intercom, which I wasn't even paying attention to. And she starts asking who who is, which Beatle is singing this, which Beatle is singing this song. It was a Beatles song. And see, and I'm not a Beatles main, you know, a fanatic. So, you know, I don't know exactly all their names and who who sung what song but yeah you know you know I knew it was a Beatles song but she comes up asking this and um it was this song and literally at first I I didn't I wasn't even thinking about it until way later hours and hours later I'm like you know what I'm gonna check out this song when was it released because you remember with that Led Zeppelin song when I put out that war drums video same day I heard loud drums blasting and um, I thought someone was playing real drums, so I checked out that Led Zeppelin song. It was released on February 21st, and I made a community post about that, where I believed the Lord was saying the war stuff would start on that day, which exactly it did. Russia began its initial invasion on the 21st of February. The full-scale invasion began on the 23rd. But the initial invasion began on the 21st of February. So I checked out this Beatles song. Maybe I'm amazed. It's song by Paul McCartney. And here, guess what? It was released on April 17th, 1970. So it was released on April 17th. Recorded February 22nd. But released on April 17th. And get, guess what? Easter is on April 17th this year. So what's the odds of that? A employee, Home Depot, she randomly comes up, starts asking, do you know who is singing this song? Which Beatle is it? She knew it was the Beatles. I knew it was the Beatles. But, uh, you know, I had no clue the name of the singer and which specific Beatle it was. Um, You know, which member of the band. And um, it was completely random. And so the release date is April 17th of that song in Easter this year is on April 17th. So you can't make this up. So just like I said about that, that Led Zeppelin song, February 21st released. And that was exactly when the war stuff uh, kicked up the initial invasion. When he sent troops into the eastern portion under the fake guise of, you know, humanitarian intervention. And two days later, the full-scale invasion started. But so this is a few things I wanted to bring up. So in the past, years ago, I did, it was, I believe it was, I think it was the morning of the Easter or Good Friday. I think it was Easter. I woke up and on the wall, I saw a digital clock, green numbers, digital. It was zero colon zero. And I believe it was a six, zero colon zero six. And this was years ago. And now I'm starting to wonder, could that have been the Lord saying Easter six years later? That's about right. This was probably 
sometime like 2016, 2017. That's pretty much six years ago. 2015, 2016, 2017. This is a long time ago. I woke up, I believe it was Easter morning, and I saw a green digital numbers, like a green digital clock on the wall, zero colon zero, I believe it was six, as in like six uh, minutes, but that could have meant six years. So here we are Easter, basically, I believe six years later, I should try to track down the old videos on that. So I believe I'd record that in videos. Um, I think I probably did. But um, really, Easter, that is, that's a high watch. If there's one day, you know, that's, you know, that's one of the high watch days I would be looking at. Because the Lord, that would send a clear message to lukewarm people, people who are left behind, people who are not even believers in Christ, but they know Easter is associated with Christians. Like most people know, Christmas is associated with Christians. It would send a clear message that this was the hand of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, that did this. If the rapture, for example, was to occur on Easter, it would be an act of mercy because it would send a clear message. It would give people a clear opportunity to say, okay, this must be the Lord's hand at work. And, you know, giving them a shot at not falling for the deceptions that will be put out about the excuses like the aliens and so forth. So I wanted to share that. I'll catch you all later. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.